Here in North America, when people think of Honda, they think CRV, they think Civic, Accord, Odyssey, family vehicles that have been a part of the culture here in America for a long time. But before automobiles really took off for Honda here stateside, they had motorcycles. Heck, even the Beach Boys had a song about a Honda. And if you go outside of North America, that's what most people know Honda for. Are there motorcycles and the immense amount of scooters and motorcycles that they make? And that's actually where Honda probably makes most of their money is through the mass amount of volume they sell through their, their bikes, motorbikes, motorcycles, whatever you want to call them. But the crazy thing is, is Honda is planning to be carbon neutral by 2040. And for their automobiles, that means all of them will be fully electric or fuel cell, which is a different version of electric vehicles by 2040. And it looks like their motorbikes will be catching up on the electrified side as well. <laughs> Over at the Honda newsroom, summary of briefing of Honda motorcycle business, realizing carbon neutrality with a primary focus on electrification. We'll read bullet points, then we'll get into the pictures and we'll see if there's anything else in here worth talking about. All right, they want to be carbon neutral for all of their motorcycle products during the 2040s. They will accelerate electrification of its motorcycle models while also continue to advance internal combustion engines. Honda plans to introduce 10 or more electric motorcycle models globally by 2025. They aim to increase annual sales of electric models to 1 million units within the next five years and 3.5 million units as of 2030. The 3.5 million units is what actually Toyota is planning for on their automobiles for battery electric vehicles. Uh, and Honda is hoping to have just as many electric motorbikes by 2030. For Toyota, 3.5 million uh, automobiles is like 35% or so of their total sales volume, where Honda, three and a half million motorcycles that are electric are only about 15% of their total sales. Honda is the world's largest manufacturer. They will continue to lead the industry in this era of carbon neutrality by continuing to offer the joy of driving or the the joy of riding in this case with its electric motorcycles by offering products with a new value by leveraging the high level of compatibility of software technology and electrified models okay so in japan in asia and europe they're going to have these two new scooters personal ev models by 2024 2025 for personal use or commuter evs now this next slide is specifically for commuter scooters what will the difference between these and these be i'm not quite sure now we're going to get on to the next one. Fun EV, Japan, USA, and Europe. So we have more of a cruiser style. We have more of like the NC700 or NC750. I forget exactly what it's called nowadays. Practical, touring, very flexible sort of motorcycle. The NC750 is kind of like the, the jack of all trades for a motorcycle. And then we have these two right here, which are, are more like the CB series of motorcycles. You see obviously more of a cruiser setup here. And this one is more of your upright naked bike. So looks both of them look amazing. And here are all of those motorcycles, 10 or more by 2025. So in 2026, they're hoping to sell 1 million electric motorcycles, which is just 5%. If my math is right, that means they sell 20 million motorbikes a year and only 5% or 1 million of those units is going to be fully electric in 2026. But by 2030, 15% or three and a half million motorcycles are going to be fully electric. And developing Mono Zukuri, here we have the EV platform. So we're going from this ICE motorcycle architecture on the left and we're transferring into this EV platform. Next slide, next generation batteries, all solid state batteries. So we know by, I think it's 2024, early 2024, they'll have a pilot testing line for manufacturing these solid state batteries. The Japanese manufacturers are trying hard to get solid state batteries first before the Chinese get to it. And here we, this is our last slide here. And we have a better indication of these electric motorbikes from Honda. And I guess we have some, not only the lights, but we have like this ambient light on the outside. Again, I doubt those will actually make it to production. And these could just be reflections technically on the body here. But you can see, yeah, there's a big chunky portion here for a battery. So the rest of the press release is really talking about the adoption of electric motorcycles in their big markets, India, 
Asia and how they're going to have battery swapping stations in many parts of those those markets. So um, Honda has, is teaming up with Yamaha. It's down here. Kawasaki, Suzuki to come up with a swappable battery standard. And so you'll have these battery kiosks around town where you just park your motorcycle at, swap out the battery and get back on your way, which is probably even faster than a gas station. So I'm really excited to see that sort of infrastructure be built out. It's not going to be built here in America. That will never happen. It just doesn't make sense. We don't have a, a motorcycle community or a infrastructure like that. But for parts of the world, like when I Bangkok, for example, that would do, it would just do so well there to have a swap, swappable battery situation. All right. So these fun EVs, in addition to commuter EVs, Honda is actively developing electrified models in the fun category. Based on its fun EV platform currently under development, Honda plans to introduce a total of three large size fun EV models in Japan, the US, and Europe between 2024 and 2025. So just gotta wait a couple more years, guys. Honda will also introduce kids' fun EV models designed to pass the joy of riding onto the next generation. So that little Grom looking thing might be for kids, meaning it's not street legal. So. Yeah, I mean, the way it looked being so off-roady, it's definitely one of those mini off-roading bikes for kids, right? I think that's what they're going for. And this is totally unrelated, but I'm gonna end the video here. Mitsubishi is bringing back Rally Art officially, so it's gonna be special editions across the product range. Um, also, a couple other things, we get the new plug-in hybrid Outlander this year, quarter four, 2022, hopefully get a chance to drive that. I thought the the new Outlander is pretty decent vehicle for the money. Um, and it, it was a good vehicle to drive around with the family. We used it to take my kids to get their ears pierced. So I'll always remember that. Um, and also honoring off-road heritage rally and success, MMNA doubles down on signature Salcor, super all-wheel drive control. And so if we head on over to the rally art page here, um, well, we don't get, what is that? Is it the Triton? We don't get that view. We don't get a lot of these view. Of course we get the Outlander, but Yes, Rally Art will be coming back and it will be special editions. Hopefully it's more than just stickers because I know it was like in Thailand, uh, there were variants that they got that were Rally Art, but they're really just stickers. So hopefully we get something a little bit more special, maybe some off-roading tires and better suspension, et cetera. So in 2024 or 2025, Honda will have three fun EV motorcycles in the United States, Europe, and Japan. Would you be interested in them? We have a cruiser, kind of like a JDM motorcycle style, naked bike, and then you also have that NC700 or whatever you want to call it, motorcycle. It's kind of the jack of all trades. I'm excited. I want to see what they can do, and I want to see how solid state batteries can transform their EVs including motor motorcycles as well as automobiles. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's quick little recap of Honda's electric future with motorcycles. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and peace out.